Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching and supporting as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I appreciate all of your support. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energy and intent being sent to you and your families immediately and permanently. Any evil plans of the enemies against you are being dismantled as we speak. Anything the enemy stole from you is being returned to you 10 times full. As I have said, so shall it be. Let's go ahead and get into this reading. Honey, someone out there, I'm being told to tell you do not go. Don't go. Okay? Don't go. This does not mean don't go out of a relationship. You are going to be invited to an event. Do not go to this event. For some of you, this is going to be an invitation, an invitation from someone from your past. A friend, an ex-lover. It's going to be, oh, hey, girl, hey, boy. Hey, bro, I haven't seen you in a long time. And then it's going to lead to, we're having a little gathering. Maybe you can come join us. Do not go. This is a setup. This is an entire coven that is inviting you because they want you to work with them. They want to recruit you. There's a woman that is used specifically for this purpose. She is the one that is sent to befriend people so that she can recruit them into this coven, okay? Into this coven. So you have a decision to make. I don't know how much you like these people, how well, uh, huh? <laughs> I knew this card was gonna come out. I don't know how well acquainted you are with these people, but someone is gonna send you an invitation that is not meant for you. Do not go, it is just a setup. Someone or a group of people have been trying to destroy you from behind the scenes. You may not know because you have you are heavily protected. Okay? Because these people know they've done everything behind the scenes to destroy you and they haven't been able to destroy you, they've decided to present you with an opportunity for you to join their coven. They're going to present you with an opportunity. It's like, honey. Come join us. We would love for you to be part of us. Like we take care of each other. We're family. We look out for each other. Honey, they don't look out for each other. These people are trapped. They are trapped. These are people that are working day and night. Some of these people work so much, they don't even know what they're working for. They don't see the money, nothing. They're just trapped, okay? They have trapped themselves in this coven and cannot get out. Someone binded themselves to this coven. Some new member. It says she, she or he did something. It was supposed to destroy you, but the decision that they made ended up trapping them in this coven. Do not go. I don't know if you are someone that likes to party. Shenanigans likes to party. I don't know why they came out. Be mindful. Be mindful. Do not go to this in, this uh, event. This is a celebration these people are having. You will be heartbroken. I'm telling you, it's a celebration they are having. You will be heartbroken. You're going to be hurt, disappointed. This is a setup. This is a plan. There is someone in this coven. This could be the leader of the coven. They have some type of obsession with you. Some type of love, interest, love. It's really just lust. They want to get with you one way or another. Someone could have made some type of advance to you in the past or recently and you turned them down. One, or, one of their Nicomore rats have been after you. She or he thought they were better than you, could defeat you. It's been their purpose, their mission to come after you. They had a point to prove that they could destroy you, but they failed. And now they're binded to something they cannot get out of. So by you going to this coven, this invitation, this celebration, whatever you want to call it, they're going to either give you something to drink that's going to knock you the heck out, mess with your mental, and you're going to wake up a whole different person. They're either going to do that or they're going to give you some type of gift 
that has a spell attached to it and it's going to cause ruckus in your life. There is ulterior motive. Do not go to this gathering. These people are watching. I'm telling you, these people are watching you. They know you're someone abundant. You're naturally abundant. They don't have abundance because of the type of activities they're indulged in. The things they participate in is low vibrational. Do not go to this gathering. It's a setup. It is a setup. Okay? This is your energy, and they want to feed off of you. I think I did a reading. Either it was my last reading on this channel before this one or the one before that, where someone was being invited to some type of situation and it was with a lot of people that were trapped in something they could not get out of and it looks like it's coming out again so please make sure anything you are going to make sure it is with people that you trust that you trust and whatever they're giving you make sure that it does not have anything in there as a matter of fact do not drink anything there i don't care if you trust them you don't trust them don't drink or eat anything do not take any gifts Go on about your, I wouldn't even go. I was told to tell you, don't go. Don't go. Period. You don't need to party with anyone. You don't know what they're celebrating. It don't have nothing to do with you. They're the ones celebrating. They're the ones having their moon festivals, whatever festival they're having. That has nothing to do with you. If it's about someone getting married, Wish them well in their new journey together, their uni union together from a distance. Wish them well from a distance, but do not go to this gathering. This is a coven. This is a coven and they are into things that you cannot imagine. When you see these people, they look well put together. They look like regular people. You can just walk past them down the street and you wouldn't think anything of them. You wouldn't assume that they're in a coven, but these people are trapped. In this COVID, cannot get out. They've been trapped. I'm telling you, these people use magic. But it's dark magic that they use. So do not, do not go, don't go. Please don't go. Honey, don't go. I don't have a career in singing, never will. But honey, I did my best. I did it just for you. Okay, that's how much I care about you, Collective. I sang. I was singing on this channel for you. So be mindful. I'm telling you, this is an institution. <laughs> this is an institution that is into funny things behind the scenes. Let's put it that way. These people are well connected. Law enforcement, they're connected to them. Educational system, they're connected to them. They're connected to institutions you would not believe they are connected to. Be mindful. This feminine energy they're sending towards you is the recruiter for this COVID. You could have met this person before and you didn't know she was recruiting you. She would have came up as really nice, pretended to care about your interests and things like that. For some of you masculines, this is a woman you dated. She would have pretended like she gave a penny about what you were talking about what you cared about that woman didn't care she was paid to be in your energy she was groomed to be in your energy you were the perfect specimen for what they need okay this is absolutely an institution okay someone is trapped in an institution that is ridiculous these people are this behind closed doors and they pretend to be this in in the public. They pretend to be in the upright. They stand up for what's right. They serve God. But yep, they serve God publicly. But behind closed doors, they have another master. And I'm pretty sure the Bible, this, the book, these type of people read, it says one man cannot have two masters. These people do. They have two masters. I said it on my channel before, Christians are the only one that, ones that do not practice their religions. They are the only one that do not practice their religion. Be careful. <laughs> Keep your distance, I'm telling you. 
Keep your distance from these people. They're going to be disappointed because this message is being exposed. But keep your distance from these people. Okay? These people are disappointed because they, because they committed themselves to causing you sorrows behind the scenes. They wanted to destroy you, affect your work. They wanted you to get fired and things like that. Whoever they were trying to get to fire you is keeping their distance from them. They don't want anything to do with these people because they're low vibrational. Be careful. These people are trying to interfere with your work. They want to mess with your, your commitment to your future, cause you heartbreak, okay? They don't want you in this balanced energy. You're committed, you're focused on your future, you're loyal, things like that. They don't want you that. They don't want you in this energy. They want you in this energy and you need to keep your distance. Protect yourself, protect your energy. They were trying to do something, it didn't work out. And now they're living in fear as well. Um, this is the, did you see the card that fell out? Gaslighting, fake love. Immature offers. This is what the Knight of Cups is. This is not a mature offer. Someone is coming in to gaslight you. Please be careful. Nothing is that serious in life. You could be an empress. Listen. Listen. Right there. And if you partner up with these people, this is going to be you. A shadow of your... This don't even... These two people don't even look the same. You can see the difference. One is abundant and the other one, what, what do they look like? Death. This is going to be you if you partner up with these people. If you decide to go, tell them you don't want anything to drink. If they tell you, if they ask you, hey, honey, you want something to drink? Nah, I'm good. You want something to eat? Nah, I'm good. It's a cookout. I know. I ate before coming. Do not eat from them. Do not drink from them. Do not take anything to your home, to your car from these people. It's a trap. As for me, I don't party. I don't care for parties. I don't care for gatherings. I am very much a chronic introvert. I love staying home. And if I'm not staying home, guess who I'm with? My children. We are going out in nature. Going for a drive. Doing something together as a family unit. Other than that, I'm not I'm not able to make it. Thank you for inviting me, but I'm not able to make it. Be careful, Tower. Ten of Swords. I'm telling you, this is a trap. This is a trap to end you. Someone thought they were doing good magic to finish you. It didn't go according to plan. It did not go according to plan. They had to go back to the drawing board or they actually, I'm being told, they had to go back to the drawing board. And this is the new plan they came up with to extend an olive branch a friendship to you, invite you to a gathering, make it seem like they want to work with you, mend things with you, ask for forgiveness, whatever they did to you, they want you to forgive them. Guess what? Rule Awakening Collective, these people don't give a crap about what they did to you. None of them are sorry. None of them will ever be sorry. Because you know what? This is the energy these types of people thrive in. This is part of the reason why they are dark workers. They thrive off of negativity. So if someone thrive off of negativity, do you really think they care about you, your feeling, your little feelings being hurt? No. The fact that they know your feelings are hurt, it makes them even more happy. So do not go to this. Look at that. This gas lighter is coming back out. This thicker is coming back out. This is a thick friendship someone may send you an email text message if they have your number may call you someone may accidentally run into you at the grocery store some type of store while you're out and about so it can seem like oh what a coincidence what are you doing here 
if you're someone like me, I'll look at you like, I, I need to be asking you that because you live all the way across the city. You have no reason to be at this schnooks. So what are you doing here? Okay. It is not a coincidence. This death, <laughs> you see this? Lord have mercy. Source, please protect us from our enemies. These people are determined to destroy our light workers. Please cover our collectives with the purest of white light. Keep out of their energy all negative intent, negative workers. Protect them at all costs. Do not go. If you accept this offer, you are going to be disappointed. Okay? You are going to be disappointed. Look at this. If you accept this offer, you'll be disappointed because you were told to see things from a higher perspective, but you did not. These people were also advised to see things from a higher perspective. They did not. It's a trap for them just like it's a trap for you. These people use mental illusion to cause conflict amongst other people. These people are not people you want to be involved with. These are people that are aggressive, impulsive, okay? They'll make it seem like they're supporting you, advocating for you, trying to fix things with you, but they're not, okay? This is you. Someone in here is a king of swords, and he knows that this is you as well. It's manipulation these people are using. They're going to make it seem like they're telling the truth, but they have ulterior motives. Endings. Endings. Do not go. Okay? Someone does not like the fact that you are someone that stands for what you believe. You have a calling with someone else. They want to prevent you two from being together. So they want to take impulsive action to come towards you. They have ulterior motives. And this is to interfere with your forward movement. These people know that you are gifted. Okay, I'm telling you, you have a true soulmate that you're meant to be with and they don't want you being with that person. It could be a king of cups. There's a king of cups that's trapped in this thinking my Baba, whatever this is. I'm telling you the God honest truth. Here you go again with your abundance of this is you if you go to these people. Honey, I'm telling you, do not. Do not go. I keep being told to tell you, don't go. Please don't go. Collaboration. There's a king of wands involved in this collaboration. You won't be happy if you go. It's a setup for destruction. Someone wants to swipe destiny with you. Someone thought you were going to be an easy pick. But you're not. You're a harder battle than they intended. You're someone solid, stable, focus on your pentacles, focus on taking care of your family, things of that nature. You're grounded. I'm telling you. Remember I said something about going out with my kids and stuff like that in nature. Do you see this queen, queen of pentacles? Where is she? Sitting outside in nature with plants around her, nature surrounding her, animals and everything. This is you, and you don't have to be a man or a woman. It can be either or, but this is you. You're abundant. You're someone committed, focused. You have all the qualities that these people need, but they don't have it. This is why they want you in their clothing. They've tried to destroy you, but they cannot. Now they are afraid of you. Afraid of you. Because what they've done, they've done to you, they've done to other people behind the scenes for many times and they destroyed those people but they haven't been able to destroy you so these people now fear you these people fear you even mentioning your name is terrifying for them you defeated these people without even being around them without having to do anything lord i don't know <laughs> walk away walk away this is your warning ahead of time to walk away. If someone has been out of your life for I don't know how many years, you two have not communicated and, it, and you haven't lost any sleep, walk away. You see, they stand your ground when these people approach you. Someone is going to give you some type of false love offer. Stand your ground. 
protect yourself at all costs. Your, your ancestors are protecting you as well. Stand your ground. Someone in this coven thinks that you and them are soulmates. You're not soulmates with this person. This is a toxic person, a false twin. This is an absolute false twin. All they want to do is lay with you because they know what kind of energy you carry. And I don't care if you're a man or a woman, as I said. Okay? I'm telling you. They know. They know your gift is real. Someone knows whatever gift you have, whatever spiritual gift you have, they are absolutely strong and reliable as heck. You are exposing these people in some way, shape, or form, and this has solidified you to them, your gifts to them. They know you are the truth. You see here, your gifts are true. Okay? The truth. Someone knows what you are, who you are, and they want to form an alliance with you. Thread with caution. Nothing good is gonna come out of this if you partner up with these people. I'm telling you. Okay. Someone in here is working over time to have some type of union with you. It's, they're going to give you some type of offer. I'm telling you, this is an offer from this coven. They want to make it seem like it's something you cannot afford to turn down. You don't need it. They want it to seem like it's coming from God. But whatever offer is coming to you from God is not coming from this coven. Whatever, whatever is coming from God is something you're going to have to nurture. So you could have a small business. You could have a platform. You could be working a new job. Stick to your path is also what I'm being told to tell you. Stick to your path. If something seems too good to be true, it more than likely is too good to be true. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Stick to the rivers you're used to. Is what I'm being told to tell you. Someone lost a soul contract with one of you. He had a soul contract with you and he forfeited it because he got involved in this clothing. And now they're working him to, to the bones. Okay. This is all you down here. And you see how beautiful the energy is down here. You're someone solid as a rock, good moral characters, Highly intuitive and gifted, right? You have that direct connection to source. You're family oriented. You're about to be in some type of Ten of Cups situation with an actual higher level soulmate. And this person is working hard to connect with you in a genuine way. When you connect with this person, you're going to know that it's the right person, right? This tower keep coming out. This tower keep coming out. This is a warning. Don't go. You're going to connect with a higher level soulmate that you're meant to be with. It is not this person, whoever it is, that's full of lust for you. Okay? And you're going to have an ace of pentacles from the most high. But it's something that you're going to build and it's going to put you in your privileged energy. You, Some of you are waiting for some type of wealth to come in, but you don't know how the wealth is going to come in. Let the most high figure that out for you. Take care of that. Don't go forcing anything. Again, if something seems too good to be true, it is too good to be true. I'm also being told to tell you all, whatever abundance the most high is giving you in whatever way, shut your mouth about it. Do not tell anyone. 
because there are people behind the scenes trying to block your forward movement in this coven. People are dedicated to destroying your path, getting you off of your path. So be careful. If these people could swipe places with you, they would. This is kind of what they're trying to do. Is that, oh, <laughs> trap. Oh, we have an earth angel in our midst. We can do whatever we want. We will be forgiven and we are protected. That's how they see you. Stay your course. Focus on the path that you are on. Okay. <laughs> They're going to invite you. They're going to invite you. Oh, girl, you know, and divine intervention. Thank goodness. <laughs> Maybe this is divine intervention for you with me giving this reading. But be careful. You are someone very protected. This is divine intervention for you ahead of time. Okay? It's going to be, oh, girl. Hey, bro. Long time no see. How's the family doing? How's work going? We haven't heard from you in a long time. How are you doing? Blah, 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 blah. Hey, look, we're having a gathering. One of my cousins is getting married. We want you to come so we can catch up. Why don't you come so we can catch up? Or, you know, it's my whosoever birthday. Why don't you come so you can meet the family? We can, you know, get caught up and things like that, catch up with one another. It's been a long time. And then here you go. Yeah, I'm coming. This is you flying out. This is you getting out there. And then you end up in this. <laughs> it's not a laughing matter, but honey, this is you if you go to this gathering. It's a setup. It is a setup. I've had a few dreams of someone going somewhere that they're not supposed to go to. And it's never been pretty. It's a setup. They have a drink ready for you. They have a plate ready for you. They have a gift ready for you. Hexes and curses. Someone who have gotten someone pregnant and it, now they're trapped in this COVID. It said they didn't realize that you were they were being presented with a new opportunity when God put you in their life, but they went with someone else, possibly lay with this person and had a baby with them. And now they're trapped in this coven. Because if they try to leave this person, guess what? The other COVID members. Uh-uh uh-uh uh. -uh, uh, -uh. Where are you going? You are one of us now. My friend, this is home now. You are where you belong. There's no leaving. Someone is trapped. Someone is trapped. And they think that you are the one that can free them, you can heal them. Nope. I'm sure you can, but that's not your job. Let them figure it out. Just like they figured out that they wanted to pull their pants down and sleep with whoever that is, get them pregnant or get pregnant by them, let them figure it out. They're where they're supposed to be. That's a karma. That is a karma that person had to learn. It's how to heed to advice, use discernment, know when people are BSing you. If something looks too good to be true, it definitely is. Stop hooking up with people because they look good or because they're easy to get. Have some class about yourself. I'm not here to preach. I'm not here to be a goody two-shoe, but be stingy with yourself. Be stingy with yourself, okay? Someone is learning a really hard lesson that they did not have to learn if they would have heed to advice. And this is you. You know, they tried to block your work. They tried to block your work. They wanted you in some type of uh, depression feeling. Uh, uh, 
hopeless and everything, not wanting to be in public, not wanting to be seen or heard, you know, just in a really depressed state. But this is you. You're coming out. You're not depressed. You're not sad. Meanwhile, this is them. This is you coming out. You're coming out of hiding. You're not in reclusion anymore, seclusion anymore. You have beautiful abundance coming to you. Your work is about to tick off. You have a lot of abundance. Look at you in your privileged energy. About to be out on in the public. Some of you are about to be celebrated by the public and things like that. You've worked extremely hard to get to where you are or where you're about to be. And it's going to break these people hard because you know what? It's really silly when you see someone thriving in life after you did everything to block them. It's the courage. Damn it. Who the heck are you? We did everything to you. I stole your man. The low vibrational oh, sisters in there. Oh, I stole your girl. We got you to lose your job. We stole money from you. We stole a car. We blocked love. And you still came out successful. How are you still getting this offer? And the most high is sitting back like, because their victory was ensured the whole time, you idiots. I'm speaking the God honest truth, honey. Do not go to this gathering. You don't have anything in common with these people. It's what I'm being told to tell you. You don't have anything in common with these people. They're from your past. Let them stay in the past. And even if this is someone from your future or the present, if they offer you an invitation to a celebration and you don't feel wholeheartedly like you want to go, it's not forced. Everyone is responsible for themselves. Everyone is on a solo journey in this life. It's beautiful that we have other people around us, but at the end of the day, you collective are the one having to learn the lesson. And when your time is up on this planet and you go back home and the council are asking you about what did you learn from this lifetime? What did you think the purpose of this lifetime was? Why did you do that? You cannot say, oh, maybe Jean told me that I, I should. So that's why I did it. They're going to look at you like, oh, okay, well, you haven't learned that lesson yet. So you have to, you may want to go back. You may want to reincarnate so you can learn that lesson again. You are responsible for yourself. No one is forced to incarnate. The reason we incarnate is to ascend, to elevate in the spirit realm. Your soul progresses with each lifetime, or at least that's what your soul is supposed to do progress ascend but these types of people they will keep elo not elevating they'll keep reincarnating for so many lifetimes before they can work up the debts that they're collecting and a lot of the debts they're collecting are curses they're putting on their lineages and they want you to come and blindly join them they're not showing you the full picture. This is part of the reason why this Ten of Wands is out here. They're not going to show you the full picture where they're having to sleep around with Tom, Dick, and Henry. Someone is possibly taking a portion of their wages every paycheck. People are blackmailing them behind the scenes and things like that. They're not going to tell you all of that. They're going to put, make everything look like it's just wonderful. Don't go. I'm going to keep saying that. This is advice that you need to hear. Maybe you don't have someone in your life to give you straightforward advice. Or maybe you just don't have anyone in your life to talk to you and tell you, hey, that's not for your best interest. Maybe you don't have anyone there that has your best interest at heart. And they're not going to tell you when you're taking turns, they're going to destroy your life. This is divine intervention for you. Do not go to that gathering. Do not.
you are someone abundant. I'm telling you, you see this? <laughs> Nothing good is coming for these people. They're done. They are done. They're done. They expected you to be heartbroken. You're coming out. They are expecting you to be heartbroken. Oh, we took this from you. Blah, 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 blah. But they're the ones still heartbroken. They want to bring strife towards you because they know what they are doing. What they've been doing is not working. It's like beating someone down so long. But then you get tired. And as soon as you stop hitting them, they still get up. And then you get pissed off like, why are you getting up? How are you getting up? I was beating on you for two hours. They're pissed off. They're heartbroken. So they still want to do something to interfere with you. They want to break your heart. They want to break you. These are people that were broken a long time ago, unfortunately. So their lives don't belong to them. There's a separation. There's some type of separation between these people and their souls. Their souls are tired, is what I'm hearing. Their souls are tired because they're, the soul, it keeps incarnating, but it's not ascending. So it's repeating lifetimes where it's having to learn the same lesson, but it's failing. So the souls of each of these people are not ascending like they're supposed to, and their soul, souls are tired. These people need help. And there's someone in here that keeps trapping these people. Some of these people, they've been incarnating together for multiple lifetimes. And it's the same character in each lifetime that is trapping them in this coven. Every lifetime, you're, you're going to have some type of lesson to learn some type of soul contract. And you're going to meet certain souls repeatedly and you're meeting them repeatedly because there's a lesson to learn this is why sometimes you meet a stranger and you're like there's something about them that's because you have a soul contract with that person you interacted with them in a past lifetime you two have some type of soul contract this is why sometimes like these pimps and their workers those are past life contracts that are meant to be broken but a lot of the times, these women don't know it and they feel trapped. They have to figure out a way to get out of that. Even those DV situations where you are with a partner that's not healthy towards you, that's a soul contract. You have to learn how to get out of that and let that person go where you never return to them. And once you choose to never return to them, you've broken that contract successfully. There's no one specific way to fulfill a contract. As long as you fulfill it in a way where harm is not being done, you're good to go. So people in like toxic relationships and they think, oh, that's just us. You know, no, honey, <laughs> you're in a toxic relationship and you need to let go. You're in a karmic relationship. And if you don't let go, you're going to be incarnating again with the same person. The next lifetime, they may be your mom. In another lifetime, they may, may be your grandfather, your wife, your husband, something. And it's up to you to figure out why it is your relationship with this person is so toxic. It's unhealthy. There's a soul contract there that needs to be broken. And it's your responsibility to fix that, to heal that. It is your responsibility to heal that, whether for you on a physical level or a spiritual level, most of the time is both. If you heal yourself physically, it's already healing your spiritual self. If that puts you, that, not if, that puts you in alignment. So the goal is for you to heal. And you can stop incarnating into the same karma. Okay? Again, me and my shuffle. Do not go to this gathering. 
do not go to this gathering. These people are heartbroken that you are still, I'm telling you, still in a loving energy. You're still being supported by the universe. You're still protected. You are protected. There's someone protecting you. They don't know who it is. And you have to thank the, the source for your hidden helpers. You need to take time to thank your ancestors. Some of you don't even know you shouldn't be here today because of the things these types of people have been doing behind the scenes. You are protected. You're being told to keep your distance from these people. When they send you that email, that text message, make that phone call, politely turn them down. Oh, I'm not available on that date. You don't have to explain yourself to anyone. I'm telling you. That should let you know when people can put in that much energy to plan something like this. That should let you know how committed they are. Someone here had to learn a hard lesson. They left the right person out in the cold and they juggled their self. They thought they were juggling you. Someone thought they were playing you. Someone thought they were playing you. Right? They thought they were playing you. Like I mentioned something about a child. Either someone went and had a child by someone else. Or they got in a relationship with someone else. Left you out in the cold. Only to find out that they had played themselves. Now they're trying to find strength to come back towards you. Make it make sense. It possibly will not. It probably will not. You can't come back. Like, goodbye, my lover. That song by James Blunt. Like, come on. Someone thinks they can come back. To, I'm telling you, they betrayed you. Someone left you out in the cold. They think because now they know the truth about whoever they choose over you. Oh, I can come back. No, you can't. No, you can't. When they were leaving you out in the cold, they thought it was a joke. It was funny. They had betrayed you. You didn't know what was going on. Blah, 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 blah. You knew what was going on. You're a high priestess. You absolutely knew what was going on. But someone thought you didn't know what was going on. And this is because your ancestors told you to shut your mouth. Let it play out. And you did just that. Or you just chose not to say anything. And someone is learning a hard lesson. I'm telling you. It's like someone left you for someone and that person is leaving them for someone else. Or they're finding out that the child this person had is not theirs. Someone is going through loss. Okay. Someone is going through loss. I'm telling you, they want to reconnect with you. Someone is trying to garner up the strength, yeah, to come towards you. Someone may be traveling towards you. Wow. Wow. Someone lost control or they gave their power away to someone else. Either this COVID or whoever they chose to be with, and it didn't go in their favor. Now they have some type of war log over them, controlling their every move, watching everything they do, maybe even stealing from them or just blocking them in some way. Someone has someone that is a nightmare 
in their life. Someone is a nightmare to this person. And this is karma. This is things being balanced out. It's a source of, oh, so you mean to tell me I give you my queen of cups and you did what now? Hold on real quick. Hold, hold on real quick. I, I got one for you. We're going to give you a false queen of cups. You're going to get her pregnant and then she's going to go do the same thing with someone else. She's going to go hook up with someone else. This person is trapped. Someone is... I'm telling you, I knew this car was going to come out. Someone is trapped. They want to come towards you, but they cannot because the things they did to you is playing over and over in their mind. It's a how could I have been so stupid? Why did I choose to do this to this person? So this person is trapped in here with this coven. Someone is trapped in this coven. For some of you, you didn't date this person. You just met them. They have some type of infatuation with you downstairs. And they will feel like they have to fulfill that infatuation. So they're sending someone towards you to befriend you. It's not going to work. Divine intervention. Telling you. Someone don't know what to do. Someone is confused. They don't know what to do. Excuse me, ladies. I'm over here tapping you all with my, with my elbow. Please excuse my rudeness. Someone can't see straight. What, what was I thinking? Why did I do this? What do I do? What you do is stay here and learn your karma. Eat your humble pie. I'm telling you, someone is not doing well. The Queen of Cups they partner up with is not doing well. She's not recovering. Sis thought she could be you. Whether this is a man or woman in this energy, they thought they could be you. They cannot. Someone has some type of illness going on. Someone is not able to recover. Whatever plan they had to destroy you is not going to be coming into fruition. It's all blocked. It's like they're going through everything they intended for you. And that's how it was always divinely guided to be. It's that we came up with all of this plan to cause illusions, to manipulate to destroy someone's life, only for us to end up here. Someone may be passing away. We, we don't want to speak that on anyone, but someone may be passing away. Someone took some type of uh, uh, action to travel somewhere, either to go and see a warlock, to go and pay for magic, Pay for voodoo, something. The voodoo, he do, she do, they do, code do, we don't do, collective. And it did not go in their favor. Someone thought they had the perfect plan to end you, only to find out they effed up really bad. They only had one shot, but they missed their chance. I'm telling you, you saw it? I don't know if you just saw how this nine, nine of swords popped out. This woman is not recovering. Someone is done. Someone is done. And there's, on a side note, there's a woman out here who a masculine is leaving and she has her friends stalking another woman because she thinks this masculine is going to this woman. Her friend is following you around in either a white car, SUV, or some type of red meaning van, but you best believe she's watching you, she's stalking you, following you, honey, you have a whole entourage and you don't know it. You may want to ask them to take pictures, tell them to make sure they get it from the good side. Make sure, tell them, make sure you get my good side and pose for them. 
because there's nothing you're doing that's going to stop anything from happening. If you and this person are meant to be, the most high is going to make sure that it happens. But there's a masculine leaving a woman, and this woman is a gold digger, Jizzy Bell, Sin Fatil, Enchantress, anything you can think of. He's done, and he's leaving. And she has her friend out here following you around. You are a whole job. You should be honored. Collective, you should feel honored. You should absolutely feel honored. I'm telling you, these people, this is chaos. Someone is not happy that this message is coming out. It's that, shut up. Someone is telling me to shut up because I'm giving you a heads up. Someone said, I can't stand this beat. <laughs> Honey, I can't stand me sometimes either. I'm a handful and I'm rough around the edges, but honey, what you will not be doing is destroying one of ours. Okay, someone keeps telling me to shut up, man. Shut up, shut up. Why won't you shut up? <laughs> so, <laughs> I kid you not. Someone has been doing. Listen, this is just about another sad side note. Someone has been doing like a shut up spell. They've been sending it towards me and I can see her when she's doing it. <laughs> oh, and I just be sitting watching, like seeing her in my mind. So I'm the girl. Don't you ever get tired? <laughs> Anyways. So, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Man, how many times are you going to say shut up? Like, I wish I could just go to her and say, hi, honey. <laughs> oh, Lord. But it's me. You don't have to watch me from afar. I'm here. Now you can tell me shut up in person. <laughs> oh, Lord. Someone, like, I don't like leaving my readings on this kind of note, but someone is not looking good for you. Whatever little lower entities you used to mess with, uh, whatever star seeds that didn't know who they were unsure of themselves that you used to mess with, you should have stuck to them. But you effed around with the wrong energy. The wrong one. And you will not be recovering. Whosoever you are, do not come towards this star seed. Yeah, they're coming to cause illusions to tempt you. They want to make it look at, look like it's promising. Whatever voodoo he do gives they're showing you nonsense. It's not promising. It's an illusion. There's nothing promising in it. Okay? Illusions of success. Illusions of grandeur. This is a whole plan. And someone is waiting for the right time to come in. I'm telling you, they will not be succeeding. Hmm? I'm telling you. <laughs> what does this card say? Get cut slender revelations. Need to be alert. Reparation. Deceive the self. Others. I'm telling you. These people are exposed. They're deceiving themselves. There's not, nothing, it don't matter how long you all wait to carry out this plan. You are exposed. It's not going to work. I don't care how much effort you put into it. It's not working. It's not going to work. So I don't care how you all think you're going to be successful, how long you wait, how long you plan. Nope. Source said it's a no-go. It is a no-go. Yep. It is a no-go. This message that someone is supposed to receive about some type of new beginning, 
It's still coming in. You're still going to receive it from the person they're supposed to receive it from. You are at expose who you are. Okay? The truth is being seen. Something is being looked over. There's some type of revelation that has gone on. Honey, when will you all stop wasting our time and yours? I'm telling you. Yeah, it's not going in your favor. You are exposed. Bar, bad karma for you. Things are not going like you guys planned. Just let it go. You guys didn't listen to Eminem. He said, you only got one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Right? You didn't listen. You missed it. I mean, the rap game, the singing game is not my thing, but I do be trying on here. I does try. Anything you all are planning for this person is going to be bad karma for you. You've already accumulated a lot of bad karma. I will advise you to stop, but you people are stubborn. You like logic. So, you're going to keep going and things are going to keep getting worse for you. You all have lost a lot. A lot. You've lost a lot. Someone here wanted someone to lose a home, lose a car, lose a job, lose their stability, and you've lost that. You've lost that. You see this? Look at this. This Eight of Pentacles, Four of, Sword, Four of Cups in the reverse, which is a good thing, and the Two of Wands. Whatever you all are planning to present this person, nope, you're not accepting any gifts. This person still has a new path ahead of them. You didn't block nothing. This is a rude awakening for you all. What a mess. At this point, we need to start giving these comics an A for effort and just leave it at that. So you got a good grade. That's a good grade. You got an A. <clears throat> you got a good grade. And we're just going to dismiss the rest of it. A for effort, but you know, we're just going to forget about the rest of it. You try. You try really hard. You give it all you had. And the Most High said, absolutely not. Not on my planet. Not in my creation. Okay. Thank you. Someone is still seen, being seen as a wise person. Someone is still being seen as a teacher. Someone is still being respected. Everything you all did not want for this person. Someone is taking their wisdom elsewhere. Someone is like, oh my gosh, she, she knows so much. He knows so much, whoever you are. And they are so desperate to get you to work with them. And you will not. You will not. If you work with these people, your life is going to be upside down. You're going to have a lot of bad karma. This is the energy you're supposed to be in. But if you accept this offer from these people, this is what you're going to be in. Okay. Move on. They're being told to move on. Move on from this plan. This plan to come in and trap a light being into something dark, the kingdom of darkness. Move on. It is not looking good for you all. Move on. Go and heal. Do the necessary work to heal, but you all don't want to. You want to keep setting yourself back lifetimes and your bloodline back lifetimes. You still have your karma and your depth to fulfill. Move on. Source, what is your advice to us? Oh, Source is there. Hold on. You don't even have to finish asking. Here it is. So we have 27 which is nine, something is done, completion, something is finished. If something is finished and these people are refusing to accept that it's finished, 
This karmic group is refusing to accept that something is finished. Something is over. This is what it has to do with. You already won the battle against your enemies, but they don't want to accept defeat. The battle is over. The war has been won. This is not a chapter that's ever coming back, but they are trying to hold on to nothing. It's over. All that's left is for them to fulfill their karma. They're being told literally to move on. They received nothing but bad karma. This entire institution, COVID, got nothing but bad karma. The leader of this institution is down. He's going through some type of betrayal. It's over. That's why this is their last attempt. Because they know you already defeated them. But they don't want to let go. Now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. You did something that no one else has ever done before. And that is defeat this person and this COVID. Now, mind you, you didn't do it by yourself. This was the grace of the Most High. This was all work by your ancestors and your guardian angels. You need to take time and thank them. But you defeated a warlock and he has never or she has never been defeated before. You took down an entire COVID. And now they are desperate to be in your energy. They are desperate to work with you, even though they are terrified of you, but they know you are legit. You are truly gifted. So they want to work with you. This is not going to work, folks. You cannot go back to the drawing board anymore. It's over. It's for me to. Check. 27, 9, completion. It said, your mind is wide open and you are tolerant and compassionate toward all ways of life. You value freedom of expression and want to improve the conditions of people, whether in your community, country, or the world at large. I am expressive. That part. Thank you for watching, folks. See you later. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed and have a blessed day.